if you could take it. Stop! <laughs> you wanna see me naked, naked, naked? I'm just saying. I wanna be a baby, baby, baby. Three, two, one, action. It's 2021 guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel So guys, I love you guys so much, you already know that But I have a house stuff for you guys today and I was like, you know what? Let's take 2021 and change it all Like, let's do things differently So yes, it's true My time behind the chair as a hairstylist is coming to an end because I've been doing this for almost a decade now and it's been a very long time coming At this point in my career, I thought by now I'll be teaching, I'll be traveling and stuff like that But COVID decided to come and let me know that, you know what bitch <laughs> Yeah, yeah, COVID, COVID has really put a lot of stuff into perspective, okay So, to all my guests that have been coming to the salon, I just want to say I've loved you guys from the very beginning and I'm so humbled by all the times we've spent together but at some point it's you know when it's time and this is what I'm wearing so this is what I'm wearing today I know guys ah, see honey you guys saw that right it's not fair like honey ah, how can I not just go to waste Seriously? <laughs> you guys know I'm stupid. Anyway, let's get to this video. So I saw this, you guys know I'm a fan of house tours and I saw Best Dress has a house tour. And I was like, you know what? My New York apartment tour. Wait, 1800 studio? Hmm? 1800 dollars? Guys, I'm paying about 3000 dollars plus every month. Salon and house rent, it's a lot. Like, I don't even work for myself. I work just to pay the rent. That's why I was like, it's time to it's time to nip it in the bud so yeah crazy let's see are you that guy who stalked me on the internet oh oh yes honey oh she has a nice personality i love that already asking me out and promising to not bury me in the woods oh girl make yourself oh okay first things first i love the aesthetics brownstones houses are everything okay bed dressed i love you already i have to be honest i moved in about a year ago Oh, oh. I signed my lease in January, my rent was $2,000 a month, but my landlord actually since reduced it to $1,800. Oh. The market rate in New York has gone down so much this year. Oh, that's it's nice. 250 square feet, separated into a main living room area. Oh, and honey, I love the aesthetics. Corner, which if I had a place like that in New York, I wouldn't mind living there. But I like that there was that little bit of separation of the floor plan. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, this is so cute. But now all this wiggle is in focus. Real good stuff. Oh, keep going. <laughs> oh, 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 I love, I love her. Not fair. With myself and anywhere between one and one thousand cockroaches inside the walls. Ooh. We'll never honey, welcome to New York, honey. New York is like that. So I had to decide. It reminds me of Soho. Why? Where I could like have people over and socialize normally, oh. or if I just wanted to have a gigantic <laughs> fucking desk. How to work your ass off? There's like one armchair for people to sit in. No so way. Sit on the floor. Oh, um, this is so adorable. It's kind of my aesthetics. If no, actually, I love. I was just really obsessed with the way that there are. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Okay, guys. For me, if I have a place like that, I'm sorry, but it will be wide walls. Like you've seen the studio. You've seen the silent studio that I have. At this point, that I had because you guys know I'm shutting it down. But yeah, that I have. It was white walls, uh, marble marble walls one side, then white walls on the other side with decals, then gray, red, orange, and black and white. That was the team. So yeah, yeah. When I go uh, tomorrow, I will be breaking down some stuff. I, I don't think I can keep up with the rents. You know, table, it's I'm exhausted. After almost four years, practically four years of making it work. And then you have like your laptop and your notebook. I'm so happy for her. Phone and also Ooh. your other notebooks. Oh, she's, and yep. And it's like all falling off the edges. Oh, no. I also got this office chair. Oh, the rest of my decor. I love that she and just has her own space to herself. Like this. Oh, and then when you're drawing or like the aesthetics is like, oh, 
you know, bite me. I love it. Oh my god, that place would be perfect for editing. Guys, I edit every day, so I know how it is to be a full time content creator. And then, trading. You know, you're trading, you're editing, and doing videos, then you're doing the salon. It's, it's too much. Awesome. I love this. It's so cute. In my windows, I also hung up crystal ball things, and they were. I hope she has that. I have this this idea of just having my vernacular and vernacular and checking everywhere. I have that in my head that I'll be in my house and then someone is staring like me. So this is so cute. Apartment with south facing windows because I am not exaggerating when I say that the direct sunlight that comes into this apartment is the only thing keeping me from slipping into a dark, dark seasonal depression. Oh, yes, because it looks like you're outside, but you're not outside. It's perfect. Very graceful. So, over here, I love her. I'm sorry. I cannot. I love her. I love I'm sorry. And she I makes a of little hipster cameras. Oh, oh, so yes. He's a Polaroid. Top down, let me look in your eyes. I'm just saying. I know every second of yours is all mine. I love her. I'm sorry. I know. If I don't love her, I'll be lying. She has this kind of aesthetic that I just, ah, oh, you know, like, oh, I love it. It's so cute. You know it, that? Because you know what a Polaroid looks like? This oh. Is my Girl, stop! Camera for taking oh, photos. Oh, oh, this one, oh, oh. my 8mm video camera. Oh, oh. This one is really cool. I got it from Japan. Oh, eBay. wow, it's I mean, this is vintage, kind of honey. Hipster shit ever, but I really, really like. Oh, honey, films. it's vintage. It's classic, girl. There's something kind of horrifying about when you're shooting <laughs> on like a phone or on a digital camera. Like but, and it now, stops. There's no like marginal cost to shooting things again and again and again. Yep. If you're kind of perfectionistic like me, you'll just use every chance possible to redo it and redo it to get like That's smaller and smaller right. better. Just like right now, because this is actually my second day filming this video and I'm oh. just like wearing the same outfit for continuity. So no I'm way. Oh, yeah. she, oh, so she does not play then. Like Honey, oh, I love her. She's like me, perfectionist, guys. And there's no reviewing it or no going back. I know that, guys, when I'm editing, I just lock myself in the room. That's why people are like, uh, if you notice my videos, I do all the thumbnail, editing, cutting, um, memes, everything you see in my videos, I do them myself. So you can imagine how time intensive it is. And when I tell people that I'm working from home, they're like, really? What are you doing? They don't get it, but when you're a content creator, oh, you're working, honey. You are working, even if you're not paid for it yet, you're working. And I love doing it because I can just yeah. do me. <laughs> you know, I love it. And I don't have to worry about waking up at 4 a.m. to go do someone's hair. Whether I am waking up at 4 a.m. to work for myself. I love it. Oh, oh no. It's on. I love it. It's very vintage, very classic. It's gorgeous. She. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, now. I am a professional. Then shaky, shaky, shaky. Oh, just like the movies. I love how it is. What part of New York? We have brownstones also. So, all of my other camera equipment. So, I need to film. I just. Okay, so guys, I live in Boston, Massachusetts, but the house I live in is a brownstone. It reminds me of Soho. And the area I live lives it looks like Soho. That's why I've never been, you know, like, oh my god, I want to move to New York right now because when I go home, when I come to the house, it's like, I mean, you know. New York already. It's just I'm not hearing the loud noises and stuff like the music and all that playing outside because to me Boston is a large town. They call it a city to, to me, honey, it's a large town. But New York to me is a city where I fit right in. People are walking fast, but in Boston I'm the only one walking fast and flying through the roads, the streets. I'm like they will wait for the red light or the or walk sign before they walk. I'm like, honey, no car, pew, you know, I'm that person. Like, yeah, go, lie, energy. So, Boston is very laid back for me. Over here is kind of the closest thing that I have to a living room in this apartment, aka just one armchair. If I can share a place like that with someone, I don't mind moving to New York because 
like I'm not. Then I will be paying half of the rent. You know, working from the. It's desk, better than paying almost three thousand plus a month. I also sometimes. Uh, hello. Days, Look at the difference. Atlantic articles, so I can pretend to be interesting and worldly and have something interesting to say. <laughs> If I have a place like that, I'll be staying in the house and working from home. I love her! Stop! I love her! I'm, I, 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 I'm, I, 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 of carrier pigeons. No! Stop! Oh, this is so cute! Very green. I'm done with your. Oh, not fair! Look at me, I'm just. This armchair is my oldest piece of furniture. I thrifted it three years ago in LA. Uh. Honey! So people can shift. Oh, okay. Because I've always said to myself, if I move to LA, how will I move my stuff? Like my lights. So now I know that I knew it was doable, but now it makes a lot of sense. Do I want to move? To, let me know if you guys think I should move to New York or not. Because actually, this year I'm moving away from Boston. I just have to know what state I'm moving to to start fresh. That's why I'm shutting down the salon too because I'm actually moving. Anyways, here it is with me today. I really like it. I love the color. I love the deltiness. I, I said if the salon did not work, then it was time for me to move. And it's been four years, so it's time. <coughs> on it when I cut my ankle shaving, uh, and then kind of just like bled all over my apartment, and I couldn't get it out. Okay, now fasten. <laughs> Succession theme song. Oh, okay now. I love the relationship with this lamp. I think it looks pretty cute. Like I like the arc. But whenever somebody sits in this arm, they can just bump. Yep. On the lamp, including me. Sis, I get it. Because I was looking at it, I was like, honey, that stuff be like in your face, honey. Broken, but this was the second one I got. The first one. But the aesthetics is gorgeous. It's so cute, giving me outside, but yet inside. You guys know. Also, like I do with people. I love this. <laughs> I love this. Look at me on the camera board. Okay now. Okay. Oh. oh, we're gonna do a similar thing. <laughs> you wanna talk about the abundance of you? Oh, that zooming in and zooming out is your lens? Oh! Because guys, I've been finding a way to be able to do videos where I zoom in and zoom out. Okay, I better get, the, I better save up and buy those lens then, that type of lens, so I can zoom in and zoom out and zoom in and zoom out. You all are in trouble. I'm about to upgrade videos for you guys. Like upgrade. Oh, this is so cute. You see, this is why it's great to work for yourself. See. Introduce you to the small army of gold vintage mirrors that I've been collecting. Oh, honey. Down a warship in I ain't playing at all. Girl! I have this one <laughs> placed against my stove, which is. I love her! Because she doesn't just, you know how some people would just take stuff like, okay, let me just have this. No, she, she very well turned out, and when she has it, she holds on to that stuff. Honey, sorry, I was just staring at this um, stuff because I've been um, taking the products from the salon. I've been taking them bit by bit home. So that's why when I look this way, see, like this is one of the products that was on the shelf at the salon. I've been taking them because, honey, let's put it this way. People are like, oh my god, all those money you've invested, honey, the shampoos and the conditioners, I will be using them to shower. My, uh, uh, honey, I'm not gonna waste myself. I'll use them to shower for the next one year, guys. So, sorry, guys. And then I'll give some products away, too. So, yeah. But I don't think I'll be making any other order any longer. Looking myself in the face before I go and poop. My last order was last month and my first of two bathrooms oh she has two bathrooms last year i found out that i only serviced 89 people oh no it's what can i do with that at that point it's time two tiny closet sized rooms for no fucking reason so <coughs> that's a first world problem it just kind of infuriates me in terms of square footage you know yeah i can see why with a toilet in it which happens to also double as you know like a phone booth for taking conference My gosh. Calls, a small room to really? store hostages in or it's uh, cute a background which i actually have used for instagram oh, 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 oh. honey I girl i love did you guys see that 
<laughs> Shit, son! Have vest to into a photo shoot. Here, so I have like little tape marks on the ground for where my tripod is supposed to go. Oh! I have this no dumping sign that I found in like a random alley, and because I'm immature, I think that's funny. Yeah. That so is smart. You just head over to the second part of the oh, bathroom. This is so aesthetically like gorgeous. I have to be honest. Very spinsy, very single, very kind of boss as bitch kind of realness. I love it. I'm sorry. Uh, basically, this sink is um. <laughs> it's not used. Look, it's because I live in a 200 square foot studio. Okay. Look, if New York has taught me anything, it is that. Any kind of useful utility can just be storage for fashion related objects. Yep. If you try hard enough. You Welcome to New York. The restrooms are like this. I know. I used to go there a lot until I got this sun and then all my money went into paying the rent. So. This is the rest of my bathroom. I've left this hairball that's constantly on my shower wall kind of for the ambiance. I think it really like adds a nice little detail to the walls. <coughs> modern art if you really think about it. I have kind of a clusterfuck of shower products, uh, and that's my bathroom. It's glamorous. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, follow me. We are gonna say another side. It's so cute, but yet vintage, but yet you know, like I'm young, wild, and free, but smart, and make it work. I love it. If I have a place, I, it should be similar, like this in a way. I can, I get it. What do you use a sink for? I don't know anymore. There's this image that I saw online no. where it's like a bunch of objects, but you can't actually identify any of them, and your brain just like struggles because all Honey. of them are nearly identifiable, but like oh. complete mush. And it supposedly simulates what your brain feels like when you're having a stroke. So that's what I call this cabinet. What the? A cabinet, a series of Honey. identifiable objects with no actual theme or order whatsoever. Speaking of strokes, I love her brain. It is very freakishly this is what I call cute. Drawer, because it's the only drawer in my entire apartment. That is functional. A variety of like BSM chokers, medical masks, honey, masking tape. Welcome to New York energy. I love it. It's just <laughs> wild and free. New York. Oh, I would <laughs> always love New York. I'm sorry. Boston has oh, nothing on New York. Boston can say, oh, we are bad. No, you're not bad. Boston, you know. Let's be real. Boston, no. Opportunities a lot in New York. Boston. Just Good luck. Other shit that I don't know where to put. Uh, Another kitchen fun fact is that I changed out these knobs. Oh. I spent like a full three hours on specialty cabinet knob sites oh, trying to figure okay out now. which knobs would match best with these ones. I got these kind of gold coins <laughs> and they have a uh, huh. okay jade thing in them. They're kind of green on the end. <laughs> so it's like um a, a shell, an oyster shell kind of. I'm picking three or four words. My gosh. You can just resort to tactile. This is what they sound like. It's not about the. I want knobs that sound good. Yep. Yeah, it gives me this oyster kind of shell, egg shell kind of. From the sea, yeah. Oh, a a a some honey. On the fridge, I was initially. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, this is normal. I've seen a lot of these on the um, yep. Actually, ours does not have these. I'm not kidding you. The refrigerator in the house, in my landlord's house, does not have these at all. It just has the refrigerator, right? Oh, oh maybe. Oh, oh, it actually has two. Does it or what? I think one or two friends. of these, but they, anyway, there is a board on the other side where you have all these stuff. So I ended up filling up we call it the poster board. She's like, she's brutally honest, guys. Actually, it's true. There are some people who are just, they don't know. They are actually ignorant. Like, it's so sad. You're like, wow. Did you know what you just said is offensive? So at some point, you just get used to it and just walk away. That's what I do. Just the idea of me closing my salon down, I'm just already happy already. That's so weird. We don't talk about that. I cannot do 2021. This is actually the front entrance of the apartment. I cannot do 2021 like I've done the past four years. It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. 
basically in this Ooh. apartment i told myself i would go easy on the decor because admittedly in my last couple of apartments i have kind of gone overboard for a place i'm only gonna live for one year and then quarantine but happened and wallpapering became my only sense of purpose oh so oh oh i decided to wallpaper three things in my apartment that aren't walls she, <laughs> i ain't playing at all door, she's um, like i'm gonna show you guys how it's done i love yeah, this I because the side of my fridge and the side of a shelf and she has um, plenty of time to do this interior design visionary I'm making bold choices. Oh, honey, I love these choices. I'm sorry. Utility in this apartment for aesthetic purposes. I hung this little vintage painting. Over Guys, it reminds me of the space. Um, no, 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 no. When the walls came like this. It, it was it was um a soundtrack to a movie we had we had Cameron Dion and someone else. Ah, oh, that movie. Oh yes, we had the walls came. Ah. Is it Runaway Bride? You know, Britney did a song for it. Yes, that, that, that wallpaper reminds me of that video. And yeah. This is strategically positioned to Oh, oh okay, now. Go. Uh, you ain't playing with us, are you? You're like, honey, I'm yeah, showing you guys how it's done. I love this so much. Her house tour is different from every house tour I've seen. And I'm here for it. Oh, God. You better just slide that stuff on the floor. <laughs> what am I gonna say? Just, just leave that there for now. Okay, I thought for some for some so reason I thought my nose was itchy. Oh, oh, yes, girl. Oh, looks like she's a, she, she can shop nicely. Well, I shop on Amazon, honey. Bedroom for me, something that I really like. No, my fault. I'm sorry. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so this is what I have been doing for the last couple of months. Honey, I actually it's a name, honey. Kind of like Fifty Shades of Grey in New York well, apartment. Just the way you are, just the way you came. The sexy way. Jokes aside though, I actually do really like having- I love her! She's- I think we have similarities. We are, we are brutally honest and we don't- We, we just do us. We don't care. We don't give a fuck. So I love it. You can see the sun from here because there's no windows. So you can literally sleep until like 3 p.m. And you have no idea what time of day it is. Which has been both helpful and kind of dangerous during quarantine. As you can tell, I've also continued my love affair with the pink and green color combination. I love painted the walls green. Guys, you guys know I love pink. It's my favorite color. Mostly because painting a room is like the most cathartic thing for me. I don't know. I just like black songs about pink. Pink is my yes, yes. That's what I do. Oh yes, honey, honey. When I'm showering, my housemates sorry. I'll be singing with my look at my voice. Imagine me singing. You'll be like, I'm also quite so. I get it. That I've got going on here. I put. One of those color-changing light bulbs. Oh. A little, a little sexy time light. You can't really see it because it's bright out right now. Yes, um, at night then it glares, honey. Ooh. Uh, uh, yes, girl. Voiceover Ashley here. This is how it actually I, looks. I get it. it. My personal favorites are the pink color for when I stay up until like 5 a.m. Uh, honey, watching. I'm just trying to imagine sex in that room. Oh, really it that would be so control. comfy. Or the blue light and so, uh, uh, you, you know, that just... I don't actually uh, remember that well and that I just have a vague sense of nostalgia for. Okay, I love this. I'm sorry. I feel like having a partner right now so we can have a house like this together. More than enough room for all of my clothes. Okay, this is not fair. Now I don't need worldly belongings. I don't need an apartment. The city is my apartment. Cut to about when my stuff arrived from LA, and I remember that I have a mild clothing hole. Oh my god! Honestly, every now and again, I go through this like big minimalism phase. Yeah, honey, I get it. I watch that minimalism documentary on. Oh, you do? I don't watch that, but I just know that minimalism. Really cool. It's my woo. Oh, you know, reject the tenets of capitalism and shit like that. Oh. But at the end of the day, like I just fucking love clothes and I love all the details. Honey, I know the feeling. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna have a really guys. When I was in college, right? People would come to my room and then they'll start laughing at me because I was a scholarship student, you know, single mom ways, and everyone would dress up and then they look at me. They're like, wow. Why is it that every time, you know, almost every time you're wearing this thing, it's clean, but it's, you don't have much variety in your clothing. Then they came to my wardrobe, they were all laughing at me. Then they used their finger like this to carry all the clothes I have. And they were like, oh, you know, because I had this little bag, like, you know, 20 pairs of shirts and pants, 20 pairs, you know, not 20 pairs. 
10 pairs, which is 10 shirts and 10 pants. That's all I had. So they're like, wow, this is all you have. So I realized, like, you know, it's like struggle was all over my face. Then I realized, in order to disguise that, whenever you have little buy stuff from Amazon and stuff like that. So now I have a decent amount of clothing where I. Guys, you guys have seen me. I've been mixing and matching to make it look different every time, different every time. So that way, even if you have little, you make it work, okay? And yeah, so then now when I look at what I have, I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, so those people that be like, oh my god, this is all you have and laughing at me. It's now different because life can surprise you. Yeah. And it's it safe to say closet, I uh, dumped those people. Uh, I dumped them. Well, that that were not friendships at all. I dumped oh, those it's people. Really, it's not the well, I didn't dump them. I walked away from them. Because when I needed their help, they never helped me. But when they need my help, I was always helping them. So at my lowest of low, they kicked me to the curve. And okay. then you I knew that in my closet, who they really were. So when they came back shelf, seven years later oh, for me to forgive them, I was like, I forgave you guys and I forgot you guys, you know. I, I never like even shelf. responded. Oh, a bunch of clothes that I couldn't fit. Oh, honey. A completely useless bit of lavender. Oh, no, 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 but when I stop caring, I stop caring because I've been pushed into the wall. So when I say, okay, I'm done, I'm done. That's me. Like it's silent now. In my head, I'm like, you're done. And I'm done. You know, four years and I didn't even make a dollar. Four years. Why, why am I doing it again? It doesn't make sense. And of course, the big full of... Okay. Oh, oh, honey, you're an adult. You're a grown woman, honey. We get it, guy. You're a grown woman, honey. I love New York energy. I'm sorry, New York and California energy. Over here at the top of the shelf, I also have more If I if I have money, that's the places I'll be living in. Yeah, the salon has been the only thing holding me from moving and doing stuff, but I'm ending it. This guy is like. Yeah, this one's a little wonky. Yep. Um, he got a dip with a little bit of curl. Oh, okay. And these are a bunch of little propagation. Sorry, my lip balm. Um, guys, look at my lips, you know. This is a soggy condition. When you have this size of lips, you need to keep it. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Okay, so it's not my... This is my best friend. Underneath my bed, I also have some storage for... See how I... Honey, make this space work. Oh. Clothes, I don't have a hoarding problem. I don't know. Uh, for easy use. Oh. And over here. Oh, you have that. We have that, but I'm scared to go out there because it's been there from the 1970s, 1960s. I'm scared that I'll just. My fire escape. It's not this working. This is my favorite spot in the apartment to come out, take photos, flash strangers. This used to be one of my favorite parts of the apartment. I literally like, could not believe when I first moved here that every New York apartment actually has a fire escape. Like it seemed like something. But in Boston, not everyone, as, except in the south end, yes. In the south end, most of them have this fireplace, but else, no. Are you having a good day? Well, yep. Unfortunately, That's I don't come out here anymore, though, uh, because of the whole toilet paper stalking scenario. Oh my gosh. Men have ruined for me. Oh, God. And that's the apartment tour. So thanks so much for stopping by. Honey, that guy. it was so yeah. exhilarating. You should know that I reported Cute. You to the, the first police station I went to laughed at me and said that you were just being a nice guy. Ah, that's on sex. Honey, the second police station. That's why I ran away from Rhode Island. Please don't murder me. I had stalkers, four stalkers in Rhode Island. I ran away to Boston. So I also won't be here. Bye now, and I hope I never see you ever. <laughs> I love it. I have to be honest. This aesthetics is just. I love this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This was. No, it's nice. He sounds. He sounds Australian or so. So, bro. Uh huh. You Does know, he? Like girls love like. I don't know. Oh, they totally do. They love huh. like, inconvenience or something. Wow. Well, I'm 
Oh, bullshit, no! Okay. Oh, oh, have you no respect for <laughs> naval history? So yeah, I'm huh. and thanks for stopping by. Okay, guys! Oh, honey! She has swag, people! You better get in line! Huh! Guys! Finger guns? What do I think about this tour? It's cute, it's... It has its own unique style, and I loved every bit of it. Anyway, I cannot wait to see you guys soon in the next video, and yes! Would I miss being a stylist? Ah. It changes everything. See guys, when I'm here, all I'm staring at are... Ah, I would miss doing stuff like this. I love being a hairstylist, but if I cannot have the platform to do the type of hair I really want to do, it's time. I think I would still be a stylist but as a hobby, but no longer as my career path, except something comes along, but it's just that my other, you know, my other um, business or like say form of revenue is actually growing, you know, it would help me get out of my debts and bills and I'll be able to pay the loans I owe, so with that, I cannot do this six, seven days a week any longer, yeah. I said for special occasions, but it's time. I know my friend is like, I'm so sad because you're great at what you do. And it's so sad that the industry and life and COVID put you through so much to the point where you're actually living what you love to do. Yeah, I guess I've grown and evolved. So when I get married, if I start dating someone, my boo better be ready because he will be my guest, he will be, then maybe his sisters will be my guests and stuff like that, yeah. But yeah, I can only work one or two days a week now as a stylist, so there is no need keeping the silent space and paying 530 something dollars every week for it, no, it makes no sense. Okay guys, until next time, bye guys. Hear that? I'm scared. In a way that you'll never go.